Welcome to a full body Millie movements video. For this one, you're gonna need a chair, some arm weights, and a roller. The chair is mandatory, so you can grab a dining chair. Here I have my stool. The weights and the roller are optional. They'll just make your workout more advanced and a little harder, but you can technically do all the moves without, so I will be just giving instructions. So to begin, the cat and the cow, inhale, look up, exhale, contract everything, inhale, expand your spine, your head, your neck, exhale, contract, inhale, expand, exhale, contract. So your head should be going last when you're inhaling and then your head should be coming down last when you're exhaling. This is really good for the spine and getting things warmed up. Good job, everyone. Now let's lift our left arm up. Just a little side twist and hold, breathe into it. And lower, let's do the same with our right arm. Hold it. Okay. Let's walk our arms forward on our fingertips so you feel it even more and push down with your head. And breathe into the pose, all right. Walk that back. Now we're gonna get in, onto the middle of our mat on our knees and we're gonna do three arm circles going one way. Breathe in as you lift, out as you lower. Just stretching and then going the other way three times. All right, for the next one, you wanna have your arms in front of you. Palms up, push back, palms down, forward. You wanna be bringing back your arms and feeling it in your back as if you're squishing like a little can between your back and then push forward as far as you can. Breathe out as you push forward and in as you come back. All right, next you're gonna grab your right arm with your left and pull forward, tilt forward and then come back. Breathe out, tilt. You should be feeling this in your abs, just a little burning core to start. And then we're gonna do that on the other side. So you're gonna pull your left arm and then you're going to tilt your body. You're not moving your legs here, just your upper body. Good job, everybody. All right, let's begin by grabbing our weight and putting one under our left foot. If you don't have weights, take your mat, fold it three times and step on it with your left foot. You're gonna take your right foot and you're gonna be on your toes. You're gonna be working your right arm here. So you're going to be bringing the weight up and down as you squat. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. We're gonna do this 10 times. Make sure your left arm is straight and you're holding it up. It really works the shoulder at the same time. Keep going. Good job, everyone. Now we're gonna put our arm forward and down. Forward and down as we're squatting. We're gonna do this one 10 times. Exhale down, inhale up, or whatever feels better for you. This breathing technique works better for me. I know a lot of people do it the opposite way. Okay, keep staying on your toes here. No heel down. Now we're gonna push our arm out and out, down, out, down. You're still working your right arm and your legs here and your shoulder on your left arm. And like I said, if you don't have a weight, it's still a pretty good burn. Now, let's do all of that on the other side. So you're gonna take your weight to your right foot, put it under your heel or your mat where you've you know, folded it three times to make a little hill. And then you're gonna take, get on your left toes and you're gonna take your weight into your left arm. I'm sure, there we go. And then put your right arm straight. You're gonna squat and up. Squat, bring your arm in and out. Squat, out. Exhale, squat, inhale up. Exhale, squat, inhale up. We're working all parts of our bodies here. And you should feel it a little more here because we already did one side and the glutes are kind and legs are burning. Now we're gonna go up straight and down with the arm as we squat. So you're going exhale up, inhale down with the arm. And the opposite with your feet. 
You want to make sure that no heel is touching the ground at all times. And I'm smiling through the burn. Now we're going to swipe to the one side and back. Swipe, squat, back. We're going to do this one 10 times. I know I was really feeling this in my legs and my shoulders. Keep going, you can do it, just a few more. All right, great job everybody. Let's put our weights aside and walk ourselves in front of our chair, get on our back, and we're gonna put our heels onto the stool or chair, whatever you have going, and you're gonna do some pelvic rocks, 10, rock back and forth, nine, Eight. So you want to tighten your core and release. These are very, very small movements. You're not lifting your glute off the ground. You're just working on your pelvis here. Really good for you. Good job, everybody. Ten of these. And then we're going to now lift up entirely slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower, your glute touches last, then your glute goes first up. Slowly lift up. Now lower back down slowly. Again, exhale, lift. You wanna make sure everything is tight, your core, your glutes. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Last one, exhale, lift, core is tight, glutes are tight, slowly lower. Nice spine massage. Now what you wanna do is get into a Pilates V. Your heels are touching together, toes are apart in a V shape, and what you wanna do is you wanna put your toes onto your stool and then do your glute bridges again. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. 10, nine, eight, seven, you want to make sure your glutes are very activated here and tight, core is tight to protect your back. Great job, everybody. You're gonna feel these in your inner thighs especially. And on the next one, we're gonna open and close. Open, close, clamshells. We're gonna do this 10 times, still holding our V, quite burning. <laughs> And then we're gonna pulse up and down, slowly up, down, up, down, 10 times. Breathe each time you pulse, breathe out. And lower everything down. Now we're gonna get on our toes parallel and do the same glute bridges. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower, lift and lower. We're gonna do this one 10 times. Try to go higher each time. Make sure your core is tight and your glutes are doing all of the work. You really wanna tighten them as you lift and lower. The movement should start from the glute. And then we're gonna do open, close, open, close, open, close, 10 times. I remember this was burning. Clamshells. And then we're gonna pulse it up, down, up, down, 10 times down, 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 down. Match your breathing with the movement, slowly up and down. All right, let's lower all of that slowly and just stretch our, you know, thighs and glutes a little bit, legs. Okay, now optional, grab our weights, put them beside us, you're gonna need them. Let's take our heels and put them on the stool very, very wide. So wider than hip distance apart. And then you kind of want to face your toes out like a V towards your neighbors. And then you're going to lift and lower. We're going to do five of these. Exhale, lift, lower, three, two, and one. I want you to hold, grab your weights, lift them up. Straight arms, lower the arms as you lift up. Lower the arms as you lift your booty up. Three, two, and one. 
Now you're going to lift your arms up and hold and pulse up and down 10 times. Make sure your arms are still here, working out the shoulders as we pulse up and down. The next move, you wanna take your right leg, cross it over. You're gonna clench your arms in and up as you lift up and down. So exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift. I'm gonna do this just five times, it's quite tough. Now let's take our left leg, cross it over. We're gonna fold our arms in and bring it back up. Lower everything, bring everything back up five times. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna hold and just hold everything together and move our arms up and down. 10 times. Exhale as you bring them down. Inhale as you bring them up. Exhale down. Lift your core, your glute higher if you can to challenge yourself more. This is so good for your abs and your arms. Almost there guys, almost there. Hanging in there. Breathe in, breathe out. I think this is the last one. All right, lower everything slowly down and put your weights to the side. Hug your legs in a little because that was hard work and we need a little break and a massage. Let's roll our hips a few times going one way. I love rolling my hips during these things. Let's roll them the other way. It just feels so good on my hip flexors after these kinds of workouts. All right. Now that we gave ourselves some love, back at it. We'll come back to our stool. Don't forget, I'm just giving you a little break from the stool. Um, we're gonna move ourselves back with our glutes. And we're gonna work on some abs. So put your feet out in front of you arms in front of you and you're gonna do a C curve as you lower down slowly vertebrae by vertebrae arms out exhale as you lift slowly and then you're gonna go back down make sure your uh, weights if you're gonna use them are close to you lift back up so you want to be lifting with your core and lowering with your core slowly 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 so you're really working it out shoulders back as you lift Lower, and then lift up, lower. And then for this next one, I want you to lift up. Take your weights into your arms, and then lower slowly, pause. Bring your arms in three times, pulse. Then lower all the way and then come back up, same move. Use your abs, lower slowly, lower slowly. Crunch your arms three times, three, two, breathe out, one, breathe out. Bring yourself all the way back down. And now going up with our core, lower yourself halfway, crunch three, two, one. This is quite challenging. Lower yourself slowly, don't give up. Just a few more, lift yourselves up. Now lower slowly, stop halfway, crunch three, two, and one. Arms up, lower yourself down. And then last one, crunch up. Lower yourself, C curve, stop, crunch three, two, and one. Really working the core and arms here simultaneously and then bring it all down. Great job, everybody. Let's take a little breather. Set your weights down and walk your way over to your roller or crawl like I'm about to do and grab it. And you're gonna be doing some plank rolls. If you do not have a roller, that's okay. Do the same move, but walk your feet in and then walk them back out. So you're gonna get down onto your um, elbows here like so and you're gonna get up on your roller keep your roller down where your ankles are at or bring it up closer you're gonna roll down you're gonna exhale roll up inhale roll down 
Let's do eight of these, so we're on seven. Roll it down, exhale, bring it up, six. Back down, slow rolls, five. Four, halfway guys, you can do it, hang in there, working the full body here, three. Almost there, two. And the last one. Just breathing deep here to relax. That was really tough work. Now let's take our roller and move it to the side. We don't need it for now. And we're gonna take our um, weights into our arms. Well, one specifically for now, keep the other one close by. And you're gonna lie down on your side, on your left side. And you're gonna go on your left elbow and you're gonna bend in your knees and you're gonna be in a straight line from your elbows down. You're gonna lift, exhale, and lower, inhale. Lift everything, exhale, lower, inhale. And you're lifting your body along with your arms 10 times. Here, what you wanna do is just gently tap the side of your other glute. For the next 10, we're gonna add in the leg. Lift the leg, lower, lower everything down, up, leg up, lower, lower everything down. Right leg is going up, lower down. So in, exhale up, lower down. We're gonna do 10 of these. So you're doing the plank first, arm up, then the leg, then the leg down, and then putting the arm and the plank down. Hang in there, almost there. Good job, everybody. That was quite challenging. Now let's lie it all the way down and hold our head up, knees in front of us in a 90 degree shape. And what you're gonna do is lift your leg up tap your toe this is your right leg sorry tap your knee and kick out tap your knee and kick push outward tap your knee exhale and kick let's do 10 of these so you're working your outer glute outer thigh here and then for the next five let's lift our arm up so five four hold your arm still if you can three working our shoulder at the same time two and last one, <clears throat> keep your leg up. Let's do leg circles going forward, 10 of them. So we're at six, five, four, arm is up, three, two, and one. Now let's switch directions. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna lift up and down, up, down, small pulses. Now let's bring our leg in front of us, toes facing down and lift 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, burning one, you did it. Slowly release, tap your glutes, your hip, roll it, massage it, take a little breather. Now let's do all of that. You guessed it, on the other side, yay. <laughs> so we're gonna lie down again onto our right um, elbow this time. We're gonna lift our arm body up and down, tap. Breathe out as you lift, in as you lower and tap. Keep going, really good for the side, for the abs. These are like mini side planks with arm lifts. Almost there. Now we're gonna add in the foot. So this time it's the left leg lifting. So lower, lift everything, lift the left leg, lower it, lower whole body and arms. Keep going, breathe through each movement. Breathe out, in, out, in. Out, in, out, in. Almost there, doing 10 of these. Good job, everybody. Now, you guessed it, we're gonna lie down and hold our head 
at least we get to lie down, right? It's kind of comfortable. And then our knees in front of us. So we're gonna do it all on the other side. We're gonna tap our left foot, left leg, and then kick out. Tap it in, kick it out. Tap it in, kick it out diagonally towards the other side of your foot. So for me, it's towards my fireplace because I'm really trying to work out my outer glute. Lift your arm for the next five, four, getting some shoulder work, three, two, smiling through the pain, one, and then we're gonna do circles going forward, 10 of these. Breathe deep, don't move your arm. And then backwards, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift your leg and lower. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your leg in front of you, toes down, tap it 10 times, six, I'm shaking, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. I counted a little faster. Let's give our glute some love and tap it. Massage out your hip, pause me if you need to, and massage a little longer. And let's hug our knees in to relax a little stretch it out great job everybody that was really tough okay now we're gonna turn around and face our chair don't worry we're not gonna use the chair just yet but I still have some chair moves left for you so we're gonna take our weights into our arms spread out our arms kind of like you're sitting as a tree and then you're gonna put your Pilates feet together heels together legs towards you arms apart lift your legs up and arms out ten nine working our abs and arms here eight seven six really good for your inner thighs five four three if you want a bigger challenge lower your legs even further I was really done by this point so I'm not doing that. Now let's point our toes, put our arms to the side and lower our legs, lift. Lower, breathe out, lift, breathe in. Again, we're doing 10 of these. If you want a bigger challenge, go all the way down to the floor, but make sure that you are, your back is not lifting, you're in imprint position. And go as low as you can. Just working out our abs here, almost there. Great job, everyone. Now, what we wanna do is tap three times, open our legs. Tap three times, open, close. Tap three times, open, close. Tap three times, open, close. We're gonna do this 10 times. Now let's lift our hands in the air for the last few. Hold it all together. Almost there. If you want another challenge, you can, you know, as you widen your legs, widen your arms as well. Bring it all in. Now we're gonna move ourselves, shift ourselves over to our chair or our stool. And we're gonna bring our weights with us and keep them beside us, close to us, because we will be using them. We're gonna get ourselves into a bridge position with our heels on the chair or stool. We're gonna lift our left leg up, bring it towards us, push it back. Towards us, push it back, point back, point towards you as you move. We're gonna do five of these. And then we're gonna take our weight and do another five. Four, hold the weight up in your other arm diagonally from you and then we're gonna switch the weight drop it lift our right leg up go forward then back bring it towards us then back bring it towards then back keep breathing 
And then we're gonna lift our left arm up this time and do five, four with the leg, three, two, and one. Take your weights in both hands this time. Lift them up and do some bridges while you open your arms, lower your glute, open your arms, lift, lower your glute. We're just gonna do five of these. Your heels are on the chair, or your entire foot. And then we're gonna pulse up and down 10 times while we hold our arms in the air with both weights. And then we're gonna clamp 10 times. Open, close, open, close. Almost there, good job, lower slowly. And that is the end with the stool, I think, I think. Let's move ourselves back we're still on our back we're gonna grab our weights we're gonna do the bicycle with diagonal arm working so you're lifting up crunch crunch and your diagonal leg is going forward we're gonna just do 10 of these good job everybody really felt that one in my abs almost there and then we're gonna do 10 toe taps with using each leg. So right leg tap, left leg tap, seven tap, six, five, breathe out as you tap, four, three, two, and then one. Take a one second breather, hold your knees, let them let them down, the pressure, just hold them with your arms and lift up. Turn yourself around um, and then you're gonna get onto your arms and feet diagonally. Lift your left leg up five times, four, three, breathe out as you lift, two and one. And then you're going to lift your right leg, five, four, three, two, and one. Next, we're gonna put one of our weights, we're gonna sit on our bum and put, open our legs, put one of the weights beside, um, in the middle, closest to the left leg, and go around it up and back. I'm gonna do this 10 times. Breathe out as you lift. We're doing the left leg right now. And now we're gonna move it towards the right leg. I'm gonna lift the right leg 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Really good for your core. Four, three, two, and one. Now what we're gonna do is hold both legs up for however long we can. I'm gonna do a few seconds here. Hold, 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 and release. That was tough. Just stretch it out a little here. Now, let's get on our bum and take your left leg in front of you diagonally and your right in the back diagonally. Grab your weight. You're gonna lift up, arms up, and lower five. Four, you're lifting with your glute and your left leg. Three, two, and one. And now you're gonna add, when you lift, you're gonna cactus your arms open, close, and lower. Lift, open, cactus, close, cactus, lower. Lift, open, cactus, close, cactus, lower. Lift, open, cactus, close, lower. Lift, open, cactus, close, and lower. Good job, everyone. Now let's move ourselves to the other side. Just move your legs behind you, the easiest. Now you're gonna lift again your whole body with your arms, with your other leg and glute, your right side. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. Good job, everybody. And next, we're gonna add those cactus arms. Lift, open, cactus, close, lower. Lift, open, cactus, close, Lower, lift, open, cactus, close. Lower, lift, open, cactus, close. Lower, and then lift, open, 
cactus close and lower. Good job, everyone. Now we're gonna grab our roller. Pause if you need to go and get it. I had mine near me. You're going to put it to your left side. And we're gonna do the mermaid. One of my favorite moves, such a good stretch, so good for abs. You wanna have your lower leg parallel to your mat like so, and then bent in front of you and the other leg behind you. And you're gonna roll yourself to your left side and bring it back. We're gonna do five of these. Roll to the left side. You really want to feel this on your right side's um, abs. And you want to bring yourself back with your abs and pretend like you're stuck between two pieces of glass. So you're just moving straight and you're trying to fit in there. You're not moving side to side. Just straight and on to the one side. Good job. Now for the next one, you're going to do the mermaid. You're going to shift forward bring your roller closer to you and push out with your arms and in lower your head push out bring your head up and in this is a nice shoulder opener chest opener after all the hard work we did we're gonna do five of these do them as slow as you'd like roll everything back And then we're gonna open up our mermaid again. Good job, we're gonna do all of that on the other side. So you have your right arm near the roller, on the roller, your left arm is up, legs, one leg in front of you, one behind, you're rolling sideways, like you're stuck between two pieces of glass. Good job everyone, breathe out as you roll, breathe in as you bring it back. Make sure you're working that left side of your abs now. Bring everything back with that side. Breathe out, breathe in, and then last one. Good job, everyone. Such a good stretch. Then you're gonna roll over, tilt yourself forward, and we're gonna bring our body up. Roll our arms, lower our head down, head up, five times. So this is four, feels so good after everything. Three, and then two, slowly, slowly, slowly. And then last one. Great job, everyone. You're gonna open up back to center. Almost done and almost time to stretch. So you're gonna put your roller away. You won't need it anymore. Grab your weights, put them under your wrists and you're gonna get into plank position. And here you're just going to rock your feet back and forth 10 times. You just took a little break there. So 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then a little downward dog, walk it all in, stretch it forward, drop your weights forward as much as you can, grab your ankles, pull towards yourself, and then lift everything up. Now you wanna get into a lunge position with your right leg in front, your left leg behind and push. We're just doing a stretch here. And let's lift our knee up five times. Five, four, your left knee. Three, two, and one. And now stretch, 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 push. And then you're gonna lift your left arm up and do a little twist, it feels so good. Now bring everything back. Let's do that on our right leg. Right leg forward lunge, left leg back. We'll put our arms on our right leg and push really hard and let's lift our knee five, four, three, tap two, and last one. 
push into your right leg, stretch. Let's lift our left arm, or right arm up this time, sorry. You're just stretching it out and a twist and bring it back. And now you wanna get on all fours. And what you wanna do is take your right, your right arm and you're gonna put it on the stool and your left arm, you're gonna hold your head and lift outwards and down. Outwards and down, sideways and outwards and down. Again, good job, breathe out as you tilt and lower. Five times there and then hold your head with your right arm and do five, four, three, two, and last one. Good job, now let's stretch everything out. Just bring your head down and walk your way to the center of the mat. Put your weights away. Bring your left arm out in front of you, pull it beside you, then to the back. Look back at it. Hold, breathe, now bring it back. Take your right arm in front of you to the side and back. Look at it. Bring it back, good job. Now sit down, let's lift with our arms up a few times. Good job, exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. And then we're gonna stretch out. So we're gonna go with our head first, contract our abs, bring ourselves all the way down very slowly. Hold it down and lift up slowly, slowly, slowly with head coming last. Let's do that one more time. Just massaging the spine out after all the hard work. And one more time. Hope you enjoyed my full body workout. Please like and subscribe for more. Thank you, have a great day.